I'm just doing some uh, journalism here. I just got to put this on the rock and just say a little something. Is that all right? Yeah, that's fine, as long as you don't cross over. Right now, I'm on Upton Road, which if you look at the Google map, it basically is parallel to, whoops, basically parallel to Roxham Road. I went down there, there was a, a resident, he happened to be pulling in to his driveway and I drove past him. It's a dead end also. So on the, you know, when the road stops, you go a little bit further and you're in Canada. So I did a U-turn, nothing, nothing to see there really. So he says, well, first of all, I'm, as I'm passing him, or I'm about to pass him, he's got his phone out, he's recording me. So I stop, I lower my window, and we had a quick chat. My passenger side's still really wet from just keeping that open, but he was, uh, he had some really, I'm out in the rain a lot, weatherproof gear on, so I, you see, I don't want to keep you in the rain too much. He's like, oh, I'm good, I got this fucking, he didn't want to be on camera, understood. But he told me, he's like, yeah, it's just a little suspicious, you know, a car like, you know, I have Pennsylvania plates on. I rented this car. And we don't really get people here that we don't know. So he's just kind of like filming. And I told him about the Roxham Road and stuff. He's very familiar. He's like, yeah, that's the crossing point there. And he also informed me that down his road, Upton Road, there are sensors and cameras and RCMP on the other end monitoring it. He did say that. But he also knows that they just take them on in it's a well he said they built uh, a couple years ago they built a little building there and I said yeah that's like the welcome center and he laughs he's like yeah exactly the welcoming center he said but they're turning people around now they're not accepting anybody now that's what he says so but I don't he has just as much evidence and proof of that as anybody does you know it's it's what we've heard that's what Trudeau said Trudeau and his government had said this we recognize that these are exceptional times and someone who comes to the border to uh, request asylum uh, will be turned back to American authorities. So I guess we're just supposed to believe it, but it's a little odd that they don't want any media there. Perhaps it's because they haven't really done a great job of tightening up security at all. Maybe they're embarrassed of the fact that they're, they haven't taken any precautions. It wouldn't, re it wouldn't really take much at all. So I'm about to turn on the Roxham again, day two. What's really, really interesting to me is there's zero signage about the disease or the quarantine or anything, no COVID-19, nothing. I mean, you walk down New York City and it's like, stay home, save lives, save lives. On the highway up here, they got a whole bunch of electronic signs that'll tell you the same thing. But at the border where people have been crossing here for the past four years, there's zero saying, hey, this is, uh, you know, we're in some weird times here. We got this virus going on. So actually there's less, <laughs> there's that, that border patrol truck is not there, just that civilian Dodge minivan. So there's actually less security than here than before. These garbages, by the way, are totally full. So, I mean, I don't know if they don't take them out or anything like that, but from what I see, it looks pretty fresh. Um, you know what? Let's go check it out. Hello. I'm just doing some journalism. Completely legal, right? What's that? I'm just doing some uh, journalism here. I just got to put this on the rock and just say a little something. Is that all right? Yeah, that's fine. As long as you don't cross over. Totally, I won't. Where? I'm from uh, New York. Well, five hours south. I just wanted to see because uh, Trudeau said he would lock up the border and put more security there because of the quarantine. But I just wanted to see if there's any signage here about the virus or anything, but I haven't seen any, you know, intensified. Okay, you're allowed to do that. I just remember there's the border and stay safe. Thank you very much. Those are some very nice, I, I'm assuming Canadians because they're on the Canadian side. Um, but yeah, like I said, uh, there's actually less, this is the first, they actually greeted me today. Yesterday, the two guys in there were just doing bird calls, but yet again, uh, even, even less security and patrol 
well not patrol there's still two people two people were in there yesterday but there's they're down one vehicle so now we just got a civ civilian vehicle over there i don't know how long i want to stick around because uh, i probably will get talked to by our guys and they they didn't like me very much but yet again no signage very surprised that local I spoke to says the same thing that everybody is forced to believe which is that they're turning people they're turning people just right around so that's a little update there okay alrighty